the key message in this video is try. We have to try to call WVU. We have to call the president's office. In all seriousness and pretenses aside, my father really did survive WVU medicine. And I really survived getting laid off from WVU after doing such a wonderful job. I was awarded an award for excellence in the same month. The artwork at the beginning of this video is a part of a mural that he did for a church in Yeager, West Virginia. We're now looking at Tribute, one of his most celebrated works dedicated to his father as a coal miner. Here is something that people at BH Therrington might remember they did with me and painted. And here is one of the weirdest things he ever did. And he himself told me once, that's the weirdest thing I've ever painted. I don't know why I did that. And I said, well, you must be a pretty weird guy. And then before that happened, here's a picture of me. He hung up. You'll see a piece of scotch tape at the top if you look closely. And he had that hanging up because it was after 1998 when our family was divorced. Back in the days when he would have done anything to save his kids. So now it's your turn. See, I work there and few people, if anybody, can know how to make a post look just like this. It's hard. Being homeless is hard, but I keep trying. And I've heard too much from people who have homes that they can't help. And I hear way too much from the people who shouldn't help that they won't stop. Which is why we need to call President w of WVU, Dr. Gordon Gate. He worked at the University of Colorado at Boulder. You see, I know. I know things like we have to have a white background for this to look good. But if I told you it was a truck, and my dad painted plenty of those things too, that's just the way it is. So we have to call WVU because the Gal County is at risk 16 times more likely to of losing all of this. Not only my death, but all the art you see from my dad's still, it only comes back when I decide it comes back. It's just the truth. I am at risk of losing it in my life and everything. Nobody else has this stuff. We have to call WVU. We need to. Why not? It's the best thing to do. They are the best of West Virginia. If Gail Manchin could do this, I'd be surprised. If Senator Manchin could do this, he should. And if um, Britney Spears, the legendary Miss Britney Spears herself, if she knows how to make a post like this, then I'll have to dance as good as she can. But I need you to call. Call right now. It's the weekend. Still call. Call and see if you can leave a voicemail. Email. Email today. They'll get it on Monday. And we'll call on Monday. We have to try. Tell them whatever you want to tell them. Basically, Nathan's been homeless for over 500 days. He needs help. Can you please help? Because he worked for you. Did you. Would he work for you? West Virginia University helped McDowell County Schools did something that had never been done before. It hadn't been done at all for over 100 years. And then we put it live streamed coast to coast. It was called Let's Move McDowell. So let's move McDowell. Let's move McDowell again. And now I'm back at the back of the truck on this side to show you one more thing that's you know, I have to imagine everything people can't because I have to live through it. And then I have to imagine the best future. So let's just say in general, we know that the Welch mural at Martha Moore Riverfront Park is in bad shape, just physically, it's in bad shape from the wear and tear. What if one day looked something like this? So good, West Virginia University, WV Medicine, whatever, was proud enough of how it looked and what happened because they helped that they paid for it or just put their name on it. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see everything in this video. You can maximize the window and I have a larger version of this on my Facebook profile along with please call WVU. It is important that we try to call the president's office and just ask them to help save my life. Tell them I've been homeless for over 500 days and leave it there if you want. But I did want to give you kind of a snapshot or a closer look at what I have already envisioned. And this didn't take very long, but something I would like for it to be known. And if Mikey Doherty or Lillian Comer, two people close to my age who might be leaders in McDowell County, one day have ideas too, maybe they could tell President Gordon Gee their ideas, maybe Cecil Patterson, the County Commissioner, and Mayor Harold McBride. All of these are four more people, in addition to Penny Adams and Deborah Elmore, that could call WVU, email them right now, do something. So here's a look at the mural concept, concept idea. I'm not getting paid. I'm not affiliated with Meow County, West Virginia, or the city of Welch. This is just the painter's son doing what he does in five minutes. And this would be uh, a quote says, we choose 
to do things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Very well known quote by people of a certain age, but people of a younger age may not even recognize that quote very much. So it was by President John F. Kennedy when we decided to go to the moon. There's also at the top a picture of John F. Kennedy at the um, first built parking garage, multi-story parking garage in the world. That was one thing Welch was number one at. Then we have uh, below that, on to the side, it says Trailblaze Ahead. Now that I just got from probably Mayor Harold McBride. I believe that's the city of Welch's new slogan. Uh, we also have another slogan, Mountaineers Go First. If they decide that that would be the right thing to do, maybe they'll put that on there. It is a registered trademark of West Virginia University. Welcome to West, West, welcome to Welch, West Virginia, proud participant of the longest running Veterans Day Parade in U.S. history. And why not? Why can't West Virginia University be a bigger part of McDowell County each and every single day, starting with helping me and everything else it said it was committed to? Let's let them prove it. And then the logos, of course, of WVU and WVU Medicine, because this ultimately should be a story that they say, along with Gail and Mr. Senator Joe Manchin, should just say, let's just make this and be a part of the very best comeback in all time. Now, when you're creating a video in a square and you're doing it outside because you have to, because you're homeless, uh, you just have to assume maybe I'm the best. And this is why you can be the best by calling and emailing right now. I did, if this is watched on YouTube, I did also include an Imagine by John Lennon remix. And I will link that in the description. And you know, John Lennon's still around enough, plenty. He has sold 623 million records. And I'm using one of the best boomers I know to try to help and inspire everyone to save my life. So can you please call an email right now? It is Friday, February 5th, 2024. I have been homeless since September 8th, 2022. And I just want to say yes. Yes, I did. I used a picture of my father. I believe the very first one ever taken of him after he recovered from a quadruple open heart bypass surgery which will forever change a person. It may save their life, but it does do changes. And I do want to say, I will use anything that I have. I am carrying everything I have, wherever I can stay for however long I can and trying to go back to work. And I've already done two job related things before making this video today. So I'm just going to tell you that WVU and WVU Medicine, who are Two separate entities, but one and the same to me. They use the same logo. They're pretty much the same thing. They have an obligation to help, and they do not know, and they cannot hear me, which is why I absolutely do need everyone to contact WVU at the president's office who have a personal relationship with Dr. Gordy Gate. Lastly, in this video, I want to talk about Orby Campbell and Lillian Comer and I and Mikey Doherty and so many other people from Welch might know that there is a very big rift still between what was originally settled by different immigrants of the population of Welch today and War West Virginia today. Orby Campbell lived and worked all the times all of her life that McDowell County was not doing very well. She still believed in her dreams. She still believed in John F. Kennedy because there was like more than 10 pictures of him hanging up in her small, basically one room coffee shop. Lillian and Mikey, I hope that you remember Orby and I hope that you agree. You know, Nathan's dad's kind of a weird guy. Nathan's a pretty weird guy. But this idea for a mural is something that would be best, which can never happen if we do not contact WVU. Because I really do think the president's office may have a response that would be different from anything that's ever happened before. And we really need to contact them. Everybody does right now. How did we go from this picture in the early 1990s to this picture in 2017 after I defeated homelessness because my father made me that way? Because I try, because this family ultimately really always tries its best most of the time. I cannot explain that, you know, going to New York City and being at the Metropolitan Museum of Art with my dad was something that we said we were going to do five years earlier. And then he survived many things, and I did too. Life is hard. Mine absolutely needs help. I do need some sort of help. And I think that the best place for it to come from would be for West Virginia University, West Virginia University of Medicine, all the same thing to me. I want them to be a part of the story. I don't want to have to say I did it all without their help. I really, really want them to be involved. 